What is happening in the world? Today is February 28th. My name is Reagan, the Doom Wizard, in my younger form, and I'm just going to get right to it because we have a lot to cover. It was a busy week around the world. My cat is playing behind me, so you'll hear various rumbling noises. Just ignore that. We began the week with President's Day and with all eyes on Russia. Everyone has his or her own take on it. Biden himself has a load of problems from inflation to Russia and the Supreme Court. Meanwhile, our society is in free fall and everyone is poor. But of course, no climate action is nowhere to be seen. But at least Tank is living it up. Meet public enemy number one in California's Lake Tahoe, Hank the Tank, a 500-pound black bear who's reportedly busted into more than two dozen homes, breaking windows and doors, looking for food. Living at large. And COVID cases are continuing their trend downward in, in the United States. Calif in California, Gavin Newsom has moved it to an endemic phase, so watch yourself, wear a mask if you want. Lockheed and Raytheon are facing sanctions from China for selling to Taiwan, and infectious disease experts are keeping a close eye on an even more contagious version of the variant that could once again foil the nation's hopes of getting back to normal, although it appears to be less severe in symptoms. The virus strain BA.2 is a strain of Omicron that appears to spread more easily, about 30% more easily. But again, if you're protected, it was just some mild cold symptoms. And that's what this is turning out to be. Just another mild cold, hopefully. Putin declares two parts of Ukraine independent and decides to invade. As Biden puts it, so Russia got sanctions slapped on them again, stocks freaked out worldwide, and did this number all week. Then there was a fire on a car transport ship, random. And then this from the New York Times, what's at stake for the global economy as the conflict looms in Ukraine? Countries that depend on regions rich supply of energy, wheat, nickel, and other staple items could feel the pain of price spikes. Protest Vladimir Putin's decision to invade Ukraine, despite government warnings that dissent would be met with severe punishment. Human rights groups say at least 1,800 people have been arrested at demonstrations in Moscow, St. Petersburg, and other cities across Russia. Meanwhile, Anti-war protests were held across the United States and in cities around the world, including New York, Tokyo, Taipei, London, Paris, and Berlin. Later this month, the Supreme Court could block climate change protections in a case of West Virginia versus the EPA and could have far-reaching impacts. The case will be heard on February 28th, today. Climate change could increase wildfires by 50 percent by century's end. This is a new report by the United Nations. A four-year-old fires shots at a police officer in an altercation that took place at a Utah McDonald's. The racist who killed Ahmaud Arbery were found guilty and got life in prison. Methane emissions are 70% higher than what governments are reporting worldwide, which just translates to we're extra fucked. This as climate scientists are meeting at the White House with discussions in mind on how to inform the public about climate change, because they gotta walk back decades of propaganda saying this system is totally fine. More tropical storms and droughts in Madagascar, hundreds of thousands face food insecurity, and Hong Kong got 8,600 infections on Wednesday, which sets a new record. Then another record, 8,800, and then 26,000 cases and 83 deaths on Sunday. Luckily, though, PepsiCo announced Wednesday a first-of-its-kind nitrogen-infused cola that has a creamier and smoother taste compared to traditional sodas. The beverage, called Nitro Pepsi, is being released in the United States on March 28th and comes in regular and vanilla flavors. Vanilla flavors. Vanilla, vanilla. Welcome to the Cafe 80s where it's always morning in America, even in the afternoon and noon. <laughs> Our special today... Hey, wait, wait, guys, hey, 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 guys. All I want is a Pepsi. Now climate change is intensifying Earth's water cycles at twice the predicted rate, up to 7.4% now, from the lead author of Dr. So Hall of the University of South Wales. Basically, he said those dire predictions that were laid out in the IPCC will be potentially more intense. We knew that, Dr. So Hale. A federal judge in Louisiana temporarily halted efforts 
this month and blocks the Biden admin from using interim standard of $51 in damages per ton of carbon dioxide emitted. So re we're reimbursing money now for the more that we kill ourselves. Then Thursday, Russia declared war and pictures were coming in online from all directions. Social media is flooded with this. I'm not going to do too much coverage on it and just other just say that I saw the pictures. I saw the story of that, which I reposted of that island where the uh, Ukrainian soldiers were in the Black Sea in which they told Russian warships, go fuck yourself before they were killed, which automatically elevates them to legendary status. Those are my lucky numbers. I got the tickets right here. <laughs> Put that fucking gun down! Put the fucking gun down now! They deserve utmost respect. But overall, aliens are looking down at us wondering, what in the hell are they doing? Russia is already the largest country on the planet, and yet it's a security measure that they capture a whole nother piece of land? This is the sociopaths running our world. Then, Pope Francis comes out and says he doesn't approve for 30 minutes. Trump and other Republicans are blasting Biden, and Johnson & Johnson and three other companies settled a $26 billion settlement for the opioid crisis. Drug overdoses now kill more than 100,000 people in the U.S. every year. Biden ordered 7,000 more troops to Germany. There was a U.S.-led airstrike in Somalia, the first in a year. Meanwhile, drought is killing their children. L.A. has more homeless veterans than any city in America. And Biden nominated the first black woman to Supreme Court and said no more masks in public. Latanji something. Putin says he's willing to sit down and have negotiations with the Ukraine president and Belarus, which is a non-starter. Kyiv was advanced on by Russian forces Friday night and Saturday morning. And an earthquake and mudslide in Indonesia kills at least seven, and the aftershocks could be felt in neighboring islands. United Auto Workers strike in Minneapolis or Minnesota, I forgot. It doesn't matter. We're not going to have electric postal vehicles, nor does it even matter. For the first time, NATO response force has been activated as a defensive measure in response to Russia's ongoing invasion. And Germany will also increase defense spending. And on top of everything, 368,000 refugees are flooding Europe from Ukraine. This is a drop in the bucket compared to what the World Bank predicts as 318 million climate refugees as a result of breaching past 1.5 degrees Celsius of planetary average warming. North Korea resumed missile tests and launched their eighth missile this year. And last but not least, the U.S. sent a guided missile destroyer, U.S. Ralph Johnson, through the Strait of Taiwan, but China didn't like it. Taiwan itself is on heightened tensions and guard as a result of the Ukrainian invasion for fear that China might also resume its own invasion. This has been your What's Happening in the World Report for February 28th. My name is Reagan, the Doom Wizard. Hit like and subscribe, share, you know the deal. There's a PayPal link below, or if you want to become a Patreon, every bit helps. And I appreciate you, and I hope you enjoy the news. I'll chat with you later. Take care.